another episode I am back down in Perth and the weather is absolutely prime today got the tunes cranking on the ski I just literally had the drone up I was playing around over there the water is the best that I've ever seen it in this place enjoy that I'm just gonna make sure this ski doesn't run away and I'll come right back here literally what I mean when I tell people Perth is unbelievable like when you come out to places like this this is just an island off Perth anyway today's mission to cut to the chase I'm gonna try and catch a squid off my jet ski and then I'm gonna go and cook it up on the facilities in here how's this little eagle with a little fish in it right on cue that's awesome see ya let's go back on a ski boys Damn, that was quick it has been so cold in Perth lately, but today it's like started to heat up a bit. But um, what I'm using today is actually my brother's little 1000 setup. It is so tiny. Oh, I've got the biggest tangle on my um, rod, but I've got a squid on. Oh, I nearly lost my sunnies. It's been such a long morning. I can't afford to lose this guy. Here he is. Oh. All right. Yes. Yes. Finally got lunch. How's all the ink down there? All right, oh, squid jig's fallen off. Perfect. So that was that one. I don't know what brand that is. So that right there, guys, is probably the most perfect size squid you could find. Perfect for what I want for lunch. Well, that takes a lot of pressure off that. I literally said at the start of the video that I'm gonna do a squid cook up, so I kind of had to catch a squid. I'm gonna go over there. There's actually some barbecue facilities on the beach over there. So what I'm gonna do, I've got some oil and I think I've got some spices. I'll cut that thing up. Um, I'll show you guys how I clean it and we'll go up there and we'll cook it for lunch. Alrighty, no, that's it. I'm gonna call it, put that there. Um, I'm just gonna leave that squid up there and we'll head that way to the uh, barbecue facilities. I need the squid, I need the oil, there's the oil, there's the oil, I've lost the little knobby bit off the oil, and um, I'm going to show you guys how to clean a squid, because I forgot to do it, I was about to walk up there with the dirty squid, let's take this life jacket off, alrighty, so, alright, so today I'm going to show you guys how to clean this beautiful um, calamari, so first, what I do is I uh, rip the head off. It's really good to do it down near the ocean as well so um, then you can sort of clean everything as you go um, I'll keep that I'm gonna keep it for bait you can actually eat the tentacles if you like as well um, next thing you want to do is get your thumbs and put them under these wings here the jet ski stays still so just put your thumbs under these wings pull like that and um, that's one wing get the next one and um, that'll be the other wing just like that. There's the two wings off. And then you've got all this excess skin. So I just like to put it in the water and you can just sort of wash it all off. Get all that ink out and stuff like that. Um, next thing, you wanna get your thumb and put it on the very, very point of the actual um, hood, would you call it? Yeah, hood. Put it in there like so, right in there. It does have a, it has a great feeling. Just wanna push that through like so. All the stuff spraying over the ski, that's great. And then push that through. Sorry if this is gruesome, guys. I probably should have given you a warning. Um, this ski needs to stay still. Uh, so they just get all the all the guts and stuff out. You'll feel um, under here there's actually a hard piece, and what that is is the backbone. 
um, of the of the squid. Now, it's just a clear piece of bone that goes right through the middle. Um, you can keep that. I'll just chuck that in the water too. Um, get all the other bits off it. You just clean it off. And then what you're left is a beautiful uh, white hood. You guys will see in a minute. I'm just going to cut it up into uh, squid rings. Chuck a little bit of spice, a little bit of oil, and uh, that'll be my lunch. I might even clean these wings up and eat them too. Very excited. Let's get up there. Some whiting down there, just having a go at those little bits of squid that are left. All right, let's get up here. These facilities are so good. Um, it's just awesome for people to have access to this stuff right in Perth. There's a couple of barbecues and stuff to show you in a sec. Um, but got my necessities down here. Squid, chili salt, and the uh, oil. Yeah, so these are the facilities. You've got heaps of bins here. Uh, there's actually toilets sort of right up the end. A bit of info on the board there. And um, this is the west side of the island. So there's a couple more on the uh, east side as well. How's the conditions? Wow. I'm gonna go over to this barbecue up top here. You're kidding, it's pretty clean. How do we turn it on? Operate. Oh, up here. Press and hold. Two light turns on. That sounds like it. <laughs> I lost the bloody top off. So let's go do a finger jobby. I'm an actual idiot and I uh, forgot to cut this, so what should I do? I'm gonna cook the wings like that. I'm not going to go the uh, the normal sort of squid rings. I'm just going to put it straight through the middle like that and just cook it as one big sort of slab. Because I don't need to share it around, so that'll do. Put that on one side. Let's start the sizzle. Nice. I nearly forgot the bloody Nando's Perry salt. Oh, that's a lot. That was, oh, I love this stuff. It's so nice. Perfect. You're kidding me. Oh boy. I know it looks like I didn't bring anything to uh, clean the barbecue off, but there's a tap there, so I'm just gonna keep sort of rinsing it. I'll give it a bit of a scrub once it cools down. Plus, I have to say these things, because these keyboard warriors these days are out of control. Shut that bad boy so no birds land on it and burn their feet. And um, this is what I'm keen for right now. Mm. It's cooked well. It's different with that um, Nando's Perry salt. But it's very good. This is seriously what I live for. To a absolute T. Like, Oh, it's so much fun and I just want to inspire you guys to get out and do the same Maybe not on the scale of what I do because I do do it a lot now But you know on the weekend when you're at home Don't just sit at home and watch YouTube and stuff like that and live off people like me Literally just get out there and come out to a beautiful place like this Cook up and you'll be in absolute heaven and it's very very good for the mental health. I'll tell you that for free All right Safety hook on that's on and in place. Everything outboard's clear, inboard's clear, whatever the heck you call it. How are those fish? A couple of little whiting eating the uh, squid. All right, let's get this bad boy cranking. All right. Oh, we've got another boat. Home time it is. All right, ladies and gents, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video because I.